You know how guys are always looking for that footwear middle ground between rugged casual and date night savvy? Well, the Rhodes Footwear Tyler Chuckaboot seems to hit that sweet spot pretty well. It's just that they... Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today, I'm reviewing the Tyler Chucka from Rhodes Footwear. Rhodes is a Huckberry in-house brand that produces traditionally made everyday leather boots and shoes. The Tyler comes in three colors, a Mojave suede, a taupe rough out, and the ones that I have here are a waxed cowhide and they call it hickory. And it's a dark brown with a little bit of light pull up to it. These come with a leather liner and with a little bit of suede at the heel to prevent slipping. They also have a slightly padded but non-removable footbed. These also have a wedge sole that is a Miramac polyurethane outsole that claims to be durable and slip resistant. Now, you know me, I don't hide my feelings towards PU outsoles, but I do find these light and comfortable, but I do tend to worry about their longevity. The website says that these have a welt construction and it looks a bit like a Goodyear storm welt to me and they should be able to be resold by your local cobbler if you need them to get resold. These come with round wax laces that do complement the boots nicely and the tongue is leather lined just like the rest of the inside of the boot is leather lined. The Tyler Chuckas are made in Leon, Mexico, and they sell for $195. Let's get into the good, the bad, and the bottom line. All right, let's start off with the good of these boots. Now, I really do like the shape and the overall aesthetic of the Tylers. They're casual, yet refined, and really are unique when you compare them with other chuckas out there. On top of that, they do still manage to kind of put off a heritage vibe as well. And with this welt, it really does kind of like visually pop below the dark leather uppers. Like a lot of the boots that Rhodes offers, they do seem to pair well with just about anything. And that could be what they're going for. From polos to cowboy shirts, from jeans to chinos, they really do just seem to go. They may not be like the grail of chuckas, but I sure do find myself reaching for these a lot. Also, the construction and the rugged feel of these boots is pretty good at this price point. I don't have to feel like I have to be super careful with them. And at the time of this recording, they're actually on sale and they're going for $156. So I don't really feel like I'm out much, like if I have to replace them because I was too hard on them. Hey, if you love a good daily driver that you can just knock around, then tap that like button for me. All right, let's talk about the bad of the Rhodes Tyler Chuckaboo. I feel like I kind of have this complaint about almost every Rhodes boot and that's the sizing. The website says to go down a half size. And for me, that means taking a nine and a half since I'm a 10 on the Brannock. I don't know how they came up with sizing down like that because those nine and a halves were just like straight up painful. They were way too narrow. Even for my kind of narrow feet, my feet are like barely a D width. They're almost a C. I did send them back for these tens and I was much, much happier. And actually, I love the way that they fit uh, as my normal size. The other thing that some might place in the bad column is that the hickory leather really lightens up at the creases. And it happens almost immediately. And if you see this here, it's kind of reminiscent of like the Red Wing Copper Rough and Tough, which showed those lines almost immediately. Even though that gives these boots some character right away, as you've heard me say before, I really do prefer to earn that character. 
And I do like my boots to look like they do on the sales page, just a little bit longer. I don't know, you tell me, do you like that instant broken in look? Or do you like to preserve that new look just a little bit longer? Just let me know down in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna give you my bottom line opinion, but if you're getting some value out of this today, then I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll catch my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that the Rhodes Tyler Chucka boot is a boot that stands out with casual sophistication and rugged construction and material. And I would recommend instead of taking the sales page advice and going down a half size, just order your normal Brannock size. And these things might just be your next daily driver. If you wanna see the Tyler Chukka compared to three other Chukka boots, then check out this video here. I wanna thank Huckberry for providing these boots for review. My opinions are my own, and I wanna thank you for watching. I'll see you over in the next video.